So I've been having fun uh, with Skype and my tablet PC, realizing that you can actually use this to tutor virtually. So to show you this, on this machine, I'm logged in as what would be the student called Dan Hosey. And on this machine, which is a tablet PC, uh, this one happens to be a Dell Latitude XT2, I'm logged on on Skype as somebody called high school physics teacher, who also happens to be me. And the way this works is actually pretty simple. What you do is on the student machine, you look for the teacher, in this case high school physics teacher, and you're going to want to make a video call. Hope that they answer. You can see me. And on the teacher machine, you want to answer with video. Uh, let me go ahead and mute this. Uh, on this machine, I actually don't have a webcam, but it doesn't matter. Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this feature here, which says share. And I'm going to show my entire screen. And when I do that, on this machine, the student machine, you're going to see exactly what I see. What's on my machine. Now, ideally, you want the resolution on the student machine to be set to the same as the teacher machine. And what I like to do is I actually like to show this in full screen. You go like so. And this is actually the same thing that's on my machine. I'm going to drag this video, which is the student's webcam, out of the way. It tends to slow things down and isn't really that helpful. I happen to be using a software I really like called um, Microsoft OneNote, but you can use Windows Journal or whatever comes with your tablet PC. And to get kind of a sense, you'll see if I write here, it comes over here. There's a delay, one or two seconds, seems to vary a little bit depending on the internet connection and such. Uh, but I find this to be a valuable potential way for um, some tutoring. Uh, let me just do a little bit here with this on the student machine and we'll see what it looks like. So one of the nice things you can do, and on the student machine what I did before I started the video is you can actually have the student share a file, send a file and attach it. And that file in this case was a PDF which I then used on my teacher machine and was able to print to Office OneNote and then I was able to uh, write all over it. So, you know, I might do a problem with some sort of fish and it comes along and it hits a smaller fish or eats it, comes for lunch, as I like to say. And after the collision, you're going to have a big fish with a little fish, which is a funny way of saying that the total mass afterwards is the same as mass 1 plus mass 2. Uh, so again, let me just draw a little picture of what this looks like. Again, even when I'm doing this, I'm drawing it on the teacher machine, and what you're seeing is what the student would see on the uh, student machine. So the teacher has a tablet PC. It doesn't have to be, but if you want to see the writing, it needs to be. I suppose you could also do it with a smart board. And this is a tablet PC with uh, the teacher with Skype. And then you're going to have a student machine, which really could be any kind of machine, but it has to have Skype. They do not have to have a tablet unless you want to be able to see what they're writing, but probably they won't. Uh, and these are connected via the mysterious internet. And again, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to show your entire screen. So you're going to want to share 
and you're going to want to show the entire screen. Uh, I also recommend, it's not required, but I recommend for the teacher at least, using a USB microphone, you'll get much better uh, sound. And uh, here's the microphone I bought, it was about $60 or so. Uh, this is called a uh, Snowball, it's made by Blue. Got it off of Amazon for I think $65. Um, it really does make a, a pretty amazing difference. In terms of the tablet PC, which if you buy these things brand new, they're uh, pretty expensive on the order of $2,000, but I've had some success getting this one. It was actually a birthday present, but I got it at a website called geeks.com and I uh, was able to get it for, uh, you can get these on the order of six to $800 refurbished. Um, it is a Core 2, 1.4 gigahertz. Um, I bought a little extra RAM and it seems to work really well for my needs and uh, I hope that you find that useful. So I'm intrigued by this. Uh, if you want to try to do this with me, uh, you can either do Dan.Hosey or High School Physics Teacher on uh, Skype. I'd be glad to try this with actual people instead of just doing it by myself. But hopefully somebody out there on the internet finds this helpful.